This is the genuine BL touch bed leveling sensor from Korea. This is the 3D touch bed leveling sensor, a copy of the BL touch from China. Who will win? I was always curious about how much of a difference there was in between the genuine BL touch sensor and the cheaper 3D touch clone. Now it's time to find out. Here are the high level specs. The 3D Touch is around $25 US and it ships from China most of the time. Most of you will have to create your own wire extension to connect this sensor up to your board. Where the BL Touch is $48 US and usually ships from a US reseller. You do get all the stuff to make your wire extension with the BL Touch, but you will have to assemble it yourself. Make sure you have a set of crimpers. The physical characteristics are close to the same, with both sensors being close to 42.5 millimeters long when retracted and around 14 by 13 millimeters wide. What's inside? Both sensors are Hall Effect type sensors at heart. They have a pop out pin that touches the bed and attempts to determine how far the bed is away from the sensor. There's a very similar controller board on the back to provide a little logic. The BL Touch does have a socket type connection on the back, while the leads on the 3D Touch are soldered on. The plastic housing does not come apart, but they are translucent so you can see inside. They both have a set screw on the top of the sensor to adjust the pin height if needed. In the newer versions of Marlin, there's a BL Touch sensor option that works great on both sensors. Using the probe repeatability test, the M48 command, here's how the numbers come out. These tests were done in 10 sets of 50 tests each, with a verbose setting of 4 and 4 random movements. These were done on the same printer with the heat off using the same mount on two pieces of bare glass stacked on top of one another. Homing speeds are set at the Marlin default of 240 millimeters per minute on the first probe with a follow-up accuracy probe at half that speed. The BL Touch was more accurate at an average deviation of a little over 11 microns, while the 3D Touch sensor came in at almost 32 microns. But what does that mean? Well, let's say this is your first print layer at 200 micron and you're using the 3D touch sensor, which is probably accurate to plus or minus 32 microns. That means your first layer will be accurate to within 16% or 84% of the amount of the first layer. While if you were using the BL touch, it would be accurate within a 5.5% or 94.5% of the first layer. So really, what's plus or minus 50 microns between friends? Given a more than likely inconsistent build surface with possibly glue or spray on it and their proper amount of squish with your first layer, either one of these is accurate enough. So in other words, both will work just fine. And as far as what deviation actually means, it's saying out of a set of measurements that some will be more accurate than others. Tom does a lot better job of explaining this. I suggest you watch his sensor shootout video. So which one should you get? Do you like things that are cheaper and probably good enough for your 3D printer application? Go the China route, there's nothing wrong with that. Or are you willing to shell out a few more bucks to get the wiring harness supplies and that little extra accuracy that probably won't help your prints but gives you that peace of mind? Go with the BL Touch, nothing wrong with that either. You make the call. I have not been in contact with either one of these vendors or the sellers I purchased them from with my own funds. All opinions expressed are my own. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, please leave your thoughts below and thanks for watching.